हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल तो इट्स अ इंटरव्यू टाइम सो मेनी इंस्टीट्यूट्स आर टेकिंग देयर एडमिशन प्रोसेस सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव अप्लाइड फॉर आईआईटीज आइजर्स एंड वेरियस डिफरेंट इंस्टीट्यूट्स एंड देयर इंटरव्यूज आर गोइंग टू बी कंडक्टेड इन नेक्स्ट फ्यू डेज और नेक्स्ट फ्यू वीक्स सो आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग दिस वीडियो वेर आई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू दैट वॉट एग्जैक्टली यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम अ पी एच डी इंटरव्यू एंड ऑल्सो सम टिप्स विच यू कैन यूज सो दैट योर इंटरव्यू विल गो इन अ स्मूथ वे and if you apply these tips uh, there are chances that you might get selected apart from what is your core area of interest how much uh, you know how much uh, knowledge you have of that topic these top these things which i'm going to talk about in this video will be general i'll be talking about what general things you need to understand for a particular interview how you have to you know how you have to behave in a particular interview to be very uh, precise so let's start this particular video it will be a kind of discussion where i'll be talking about with all my previous experiences with all the experiences which i know from my students i'm just going to share with all of you so now without wasting any time let's continue all right so uh, when you go for a phd interview when you are sitting for a phd interview first thing which should be very clear in your mind and that should be your topic of interest so many students are there who are not aware about their topic of interest or who uh, you know who are having um, uh, two or three topics in their mind and they just say all the name of those topics let's say if someone is interested in inorganic chemistry uh, the person goes in the interview and says i like coordination and organometallic or my topic of interest is coordination and organometallic see it, there is no harm in telling more than one topic but you are just creating trouble for yourself because the more number of topics you are going to utter over here uh, in the interview the more number of topics you are going to tell in the interview as the interest of yours the more number of questions they are going to ask they, you are giving them a wider area so that they can ask you more questions so it is very much advised that you should have a clear idea about what topic of interest you have just select one topic as a topic of interest and tell that in your interview so the interview starts from introduction right they will ask you to introduce yourself so in that particular para when uh, you have to introduce yourself what are the things which you have to tell okay first thing is you have to tell your name uh, you have to tell that uh, from where you have done your masters because you are going for the phd interview so the last uh, top uh, last uh, degree which you have achieved might be your masters so you have to tell about that particular place from where you have done from which topic if there is some uh, specialization in your masters be it any topic specialization like organic chemistry in organic or physical chemistry or if it is a general chemistry then also mention that i have done msc in general chemistry and like that okay then you have to also mention if you have done any project during your masters so you have to mention that during the last year or during the last semester of my uh, masters i have done project on so and so topic so that's how you are going to introduce in the introduction you don't have to include the other unnecessary things like you don't have to include your parents name you don't have to include your address and all that is not going to be there okay just these three four things are going to be and one more important thing which you have to mention in the introduction is your topic of interest okay so that i am interested to pursue my research in so and so topic so that will be your in, uh, introduction now once your introduction will be done questions will be asked based upon what topic of interest you have chosen so let's say you have said ki my topic of interest is organic chemistry so uh, don't say like organic chemistry because that's a very wide area of uh, research right say a particular topic as i said your uh, topic of interest should be very clear to you so say a particular topic of interest which you feel like like ch activation or catalysis or organic synthesis depending upon that so i'm telling more about chemistry because i belong to that field depending upon yours uh, you might be from physics you might be from life sciences so depending upon that you can choose a particular topic of interest so tell that topic during the introduction part itself now once you will be clear with your topic of interest once you have done your uh, introduction then they are going to ask a question based upon what topic of interest you have chosen let's say you have said organic synthesis so they will ask questions based upon organic synthesis and whenever the interview goes uh, the question which the next question which you are going to get will be based upon your previous answer okay so let's say you have said ki my topic of interest is organometallic uh, com compounds then uh, they are going to ask what are organometallic compounds okay or they might ask ki um, what is the uh, like uh, what is the what is the use of organometallic compound or something related to that okay it's not always going to be in this way but i'm just telling you what generally it happens 
we are going to ask that what are organometallic compounds or what is the use of organometallic compound and whatever answer you are going to give the next question will be uh, based upon that let's say you said if the organometallic compounds are used as a catalyst in organic reaction organic and inorganic reaction then they will ask what are catalysis uh, what is catalyst and uh, which uh, or they might ask you a name of few catalyst once you will name them let's say you named uh, uh, when they ask the name of the catalysts you have named let's say wilkinson catalyst so they will ask you to draw wilkinson catalyst they will ask you to they might ask you to write down the catalysis cycle of that so that's how uh, every question the upcoming question will be based upon what answer you have given okay? basically whatever i have told you is an example uh, in your topic of interest questions will vary and as the pattern will be same means the question the next question will be based upon the previous answer which you have given sometimes it happens that uh, the panel has different uh, like uh, people so in that case they might ask something out of the box which is not related to the previous answer that also happens but generally the next question depends upon the previous question or uh, previous answer which you have given all right so this thing you have to be very careful that what answer you are giving and once you are answering something uh, you should know that particular thing uh, some idea of it now here comes the very important point where uh, many people do mistake the point where you might not know about it let's say they asked you to draw the catalysis cycle of wilkinson catalyst and you don't know although you should know but let's you don't know in that case don't waste the time in uh, you know in uh, like drawing anything or trying it out in front of them don't do that because their time and your time your interview time because others are also waiting in the list right other person also has to uh, give the interview every person has a fixed time so if you are if you will be wasting time over there that will be very big negative for you so don't waste the time during the interview if you are not able to answer something or if you don't know something just tell them that sir just politely tell them that sir i don't know about it or i don't have an idea about it or i have not studied about this particular thing so that can be acceptable you have not wasted the time they will switch to the next question and that's how it will go okay and remember that the person who is going to sit over there in the panel everyone is very supportive uh, like whatever interviews i have seen all the interviews are in the same pattern the people who sit in the panel are very supportive they will help you out with the answers like if you will be uh, missing out something or if you will be like stuck in something so they will try to help you okay they will try to give you some points they will try to give hint to you so they will just see that whether is it you have you don't have any idea or whether you have an idea but you are missing out somewhere so in that case they will help you so uh, don't panic at all okay because see uh, when you i know it's it's very obvious uh, when i was in my first interview i, I also got panicked i was also nervous but it's fine it's totally fine to become nervous but once you will start answering one or two answers when it will be done your nervousness will go okay so nervousness only stay for the initial some time that time you have to hold on yourself try to answer in a better way that's why i said the initial part your introduction is very important prepare your introduction very nicely so that uh, it you don't do blunder over there right so your panicness will decrease as once your introduction will be done nicely and your nervousness will become less and less as the interview will proceed and one more last point which i want to mention is that sometimes you are giving interviews online because earlier when we used to give interviews that time online interviews were not in trend but these days online interviews are also conducted so in case of online interview just keep your paper and pen with you at that time because during that online interview they might ask you to draw something or to write something or you know to uh, to draw a particular molecule or to show the structure of something so in that case you should have paper and pen you have to draw and then show them in the webcam or show them in the uh, like camera okay that this is what i have drawn so make sure that you do that right so paper and pen keep that no don't run in front of them while sitting in the interview that okay let me take the pen and all just keep everything over there that will just give you a positive impact over there so these two three points i just wanted to share because these are very general things and these are uh, not known to the students and the for for especially for the first timers uh, this will help okay so please consider these points whenever you are giving an interview I wish you all the best if you are going for an interview and watching this video before that wish you all the best for the interview give your best don't panic uh, be confident whatever you know just say that and don't think about the result okay just just enjoy whatever 30 or 20 minutes of interview are going to be there okay just just utilize that time and you will not realize that 20 or 30 minutes when it 
fast okay because you will be in that uh, you know flow you will not realize that when those 20 30 minutes has fast has passed so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and all the best once again for your interview thank you so much